National Security Minister Wayne Monroe is doubling down on a statement made by the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Commodore that the force is seeing normal attrition levels. I have not seen any increase in the number of officers who are resigning coming across my desk. Monroe's comments came on the sidelines of an event in the wake of swirling concerns from Marines who spoke to us under anonymity and told us that they are dissatisfied with working conditions at the organization's Coral Harbor base beginning with the food. I mean, we're not asking for the most luxury of foods, but at least, you know, proper nutrition. We've gotten, like, food like meat prepared that was raw or uncooked or not finished cooking. Um, very weird combinations. This photo obtained by Eyewitness News shows what we understand to be a regular meal for Marines. French fries, barbecue ribs, and corn, which could be substituted for chicken and a roll. We shouldn't be consuming too much fried, fried foods and a bunch of starchy foods. We rarely get fruits and vegetables. But yet they like to complain about the Marines out of shape. This, as we understand, the meal budget was cut down to $3 per Marine. However, Monroe says he was not made aware of dissatisfactory working conditions on the base. If they are dissatisfied, they ought to say. Over the last, a month ago, I met with all of the ranks on the base. Juniors, seniors, warrant officers, junior and senior officers. Nobody has put anything before me when I was down there to indicate great dissatisfaction. So I would have to be told what that is. Marines suggest they shy away from voicing their concerns because there is no protection for them as officers on the Defense Force as they are not represented by a union or association unlike other armed forces. And I'm specifically meaning the leaders, not just like not everybody in the force, but just specifically the leaders. They don't, I don't believe they take us seriously. There's like really no respect or no like boundary in place, so they just do us however they feel. This is supposed to be an organization of discipline um, and so forth. But uh, our leaders, they pick, when they pick and choose when they want to be disciplined and when they want to be slack. And the National Security Minister revealing that if a Marine wishes to be discharged, he or she is replaceable. If they are soldiers and they no longer wish to be soldiers and we discharge them, then we will look for 200, 300, 300 good Bahamians who want to replace them. Every recruitment exercise we do, we recruit 100, we have about 500 applications. However, back in August, at the end of the last recruitment exercise, Commodore Dr. Raymond King revealed that there are currently 1,900 officers working, but noted that ideally officials would like 3,000, bringing to light a manpower issue facing the force. Devontae Hano, Eyewitness News.